guys welcome back to another look ml lab video so first of all click on start lab now open looker in incognito window now if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel so now wait for the page to fully load so here you have to enter the credentials based on your lab instruction so let's move to the lab instruction and enter it so now click on login now looker will be open here we have to follow one more important step otherwise you won't be able to modify the code so wait for the looker to open finally the looker is now ready now we have to enable the development mode so click on this toggle make sure to follow the way i'm doing now finally development mode is enabled now we will start the lab that means we will start the task so when you will click on task number one So as you can see here we have to extend the view so for that i have created a repo i will share the repo link in the description so check it out now here click on quick labs e-commerce follow the video carefully otherwise if you miss you won't get full score now here we have to create view so for that wait for the page to fully load so finally it's loaded now click on view click on three dots and click on create view so for view name here is the view name location so now enter it and click on create so now we have to update this file so enter it and click on save so finally the file has been saved now we have to create I mean update the user's view file so update it so you may face error on task number one or any task so I will tell you how you can fix that task so just for now follow the video where I am updating the files now click on save changes now here we have to update the model file so if you are new to this channel subscribe the channel and join our telegram group now here we have to update the complete file so now click on save now validate look ml now commit write any message and then you have to click on commit after that click on deploy to production now finally our looker is ready now hit check my progress you'll get the score without any issue but if you face any issue i will tell you how you can fix it so if you are unable to see score just refresh the browser window so as you can see we got half score not full score so here we have to again check the file which we have created whether it's created correctly or not or is there any error on the file so let's go ahead and try once again to hit check my progress from here so we didn't get score now we will again open the file that is let me show you location file so actually the file was remodified to original condition so we have to update the file again so go back to the github repo again scroll up and from here you have to select it now click on save validate look email commit write any message and then click on deploy to production now you will surely get the score because we have fixed the issue so i did it because a lot of you guys may face issue like this and i don't want to don't want you to face such issues so finally we got a score and we are done with the lab guys have a great day ahead